And it's happening right now. Our Hawaii born president begins his second term in office. Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. The inauguration's a little lower key this year, but not by much. Today, hundreds of thousands gathered in Washington, D.C. to witness history. KITV for Yanji Denise, live along the Washington Mall. And Yanji, such a remarkable day. Absolutely, Paula. Simply incredible. You know, I was here four years ago, and about two million people came to witness the first inauguration. This time around, they're still counting the numbers, but they're estimating between 800,000 and a million people were packed into this mall. You can just imagine it, a sea of people, wall to wall, all the way there to, cap to the Capitol, watching history unfold. With his hand on the Bibles of both Martin Luther King Jr. and Abraham Lincoln, Barack Obama made history once again. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. That I will on this crisp January day, the president laid out his vision for the next four years of an undivided, stronger nation. My fellow Americans, we are made for this moment and we will seize it so long as we seize it together. He called for collective action on the economy, immigration, and climate change. Above all, his message, a call for unity. We cannot mistake absolutism for principle, or substitute spectacle for politics, or treat name-calling as reasoned debate. We must act. The patriotism was palpable. as an estimated 800,000 Americans stood shoulder to shoulder. My country, tis of thee. Watching from across the mall, students from Kamehameha schools preparing for the parade. I'm going to be thinking about the president, and I just want to make sure that I can represent Hawaii, you know, very well. And they did, as Kamehameha and the president's alma mater, Punahou, passed by. He gave a shaka and a smile. And of course, it's hard to believe that just a few hours ago, this mall was packed full of people. Now it's pretty empty. The concentration, of course, at this hour is on the inaugural balls. Four years ago, there were 10 of them. This time around, just two. We're told that's actually the president's request. It was just, frankly, too hectic to go to 10 different balls. This year, just two, but enthusiastic, of course. And everyone wants to know tonight, Paula, what Michelle Obama is wearing. We're going to bring you that tonight at 10. All right, thank you, young Jeannie. With 800,000 people there, how were the visitors from the islands able to find each other? Well, you know, you could spot them, Paula, because they were the ones that were the most bundled up. They looked the coldest, <laughs> and they had the biggest smiles. All right, thank you, Yanji. Looking forward to your next report.